Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the How To here at the Think Different Podcast. My name is Will TLD, former Apple Creative and Genius, here for another episode to talk about pages. And I want to thank everybody for the amazing support from our pages video. It took off like I wouldn't believe. Well, I wanted to continue to expand on that. I'm going to talk about a couple of different hidden tricks inside of pages that you might like. So we're going to start right off with a document I have here for a resume. Now, obviously today the world could loves resumes. Got to get the jobs out there. So I wanted to show you something really neat that you could do, uh, which expands on the styles feature. So if you remember styles in our previous video, if you haven't done that, check that out. Uh, over here on this side, you will see all the different headings that you have here, paragraph styles. Well, in this case, most of the time, the font or the choice that you see here is not to your liking. So what we're going to do is change it. So profile, I'm going to probably keep that, but maybe I don't want that text. So I'm going to go and find a text that I like, and I'm going to choose. I uh, will go to everyone's favorite. We'll do impact. No, that's not everyone's favorite. Do not use that on a resume, but I wanted to show you, and then I'm going to even expand it to make it a little bit bigger. However, there are other items in here that have that same heading. But as you can see, if you look over here, the heading is completely different. Uh, there is a button there called update. Well, if I hit that button, watch what happens. Bam. If you notice every other item with a heading has updated in style. I'm going to do that again. This time I'm going to do it with a subheading. So I'm going to put job title. I'm going to uh, change that up. So I'm going to say trainer apple. And I'm gonna, I could write more stuff on that as well. Uh, I could change this as well. So I'll say, since I worked at Apple 2007, 2019, and then that's all ready to go. But I'm going to now change this. I'm gonna highlight, and let's say I wanna do something different. I'll do chalkboard, just so you can really see the difference uh, in that. I'm gonna make it really big. And then now you can see these other ones also have the subheading on there. So I'm just gonna go to this one, hit update. And now they all update at the exact same time. So it's extremely important to keep this the same. Uh, and that's pretty much paragraph styles. It's really not that hard. There are other options. There's like an arrow here which you can rename the style. So if you don't like that style name, you could delete it if you don't want to use it. You can even create shortcuts, which is really awesome. So if you want to do uh, keys now, because I have a touch bar, this is not really useful. Uh, so, but if you had other ones, you could definitely do that. So there are other options you could do with paragraph styles. Another feature I really enjoy in pages is going back to a previous version of your document. Inside a file, you would go to a feature in here called revert to. Revert to will actually tell you, hey, do you want to go back to the way this was previously saved, which was on 9820 or browse all versions. If I click browse all versions in the past. It actually will keep you a record of the different versions of there. And you can, uh, as you can see, because it's a pages document, I have to download it, but I'm going to keep going back. This document goes as far back as August of 2020, which is really awesome. So I go all the way back to that version and see what my resume looked like that day. So if there's something in this copy that you want, so I'm going to scroll in here. If there's like a sentence, just a sentence by itself you really like, all you got to do is just highlight it. You can go and copy it. You can go back to this version and you can actually paste it in here. Really awesome. So you don't have to take back the entire thing. You can actually just take a portion of it. I'm going to undo that. Uh, I'm going to go back to this version. Now, if you want to restore the entire document, you can hit restore. And now revert it back to the pre this previous version, which is really amazing. So there's a, if you look in my experience, there was a different top item in here, which is now gone. So that's a really cool feature. And I really like that. Uh, so you can go back to a previous version of your document if you so choose. One of my favorite features of pages that you really don't see much in Word. All right, so I'm going to actually, another feature I want to do is I want to lock something down that I don't want to have edited by accident. So I'm going to take this event packages right here inside of my brochure that I created right here in pages. I'm just going to do uh, Command Z. I'm just going to cut that out for now. I want to take this and I want to lock it down because right now it's movable and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to undo. And then I'm going to right click on this and go to lock. And I do not want to move this item so it's no longer movable. I'll do command V and there it is. I'm right back with my item and I could do that with all the other items. So I'm going to do again, command X, go here, right click, go to lock, command V, paste. And it's right back to where I had it almost. It's very close. Locking is really a nice little feature. 
All right, I have another great idea that I want to show everybody, and that is when you put images inside of documents. Now, I have this long article uh, from Mac Rumors who have not technically dedicate, given me this information here, but I took it from their site, and I want to be able to take something to the uh, machine. So if you look down here on my downloads folder, I'm going to drag a picture in here. So the picture has now been added to here, and as I drag it up and down, uh, that should adjust everything around it. Yes, it does even to the left and right, which is one thing I like about pages over Word is that everything just wraps, which is really nice. Even if I make it smaller, everything just like wraps around it. Now, what if you want to change how this wrapping style looks? Well, I'm going to go into the section called Arrange. I'm going to go into the section called Arrange, and there's two options, Stay on Page or Move with Text. Uh, now, what's the difference? Doesn't matter, I wasn't talking about either one of those. You're going to focus on Move with Text, uh, so there's a text wrap here. So again, it, it reacts based on spacing. There's an alpha channel. It's really, really uh, technical. But let's do the, the typical up and below. So this is a typical change you see in Word. This is like a default feature in Word if you like that. Or if you want to go in line, you can do that in line with it as well. If you move it around, it goes in line with the text. If you want to go around, it makes it a little bit tighter in the spacing and you can also adjust the spacing of how quickly how close it is and how far apart it is obviously 12 is a very good default amount and then you can have none if you just want that just to be above it for some reason so that's a fun little way to get around all the different features of how to use this is really really simple and also image has a lot of options a very small amount actually i would say it's more like exposure saturation but in style you can have borders you can have lines around these images so it really makes it stand out. You can even do reflections. Uh, really advanced tools that you have inside for pictures inside of a document. All right, my last item for this is going to be removing this picture right here. I don't want that. And I'm just going to take from my downloads folder an Apple logo I found. Uh, now, the thing about this Apple logo is the Apple logo, if you notice, it's a little weird because there's some white around the logo. This is not a PNG. This actually has white around the edges. But my favorite feature of pages, if I had to say one of my favorites, is alpha. Alpha is removing a part of an image and making it completely transparent. If I click on this, I then says click the color to make transparent, drag to make similar colors transparent. Well, there's only one color around this, and that's the white here. So if I click on the white, you see it highlights it. And if it's good to find images that are either PNGs or have just one solid background, and then I'm just going to let go. And as you can see, look at the text change. I'm going to reset that. So I'm going to click on the spot. And of course, you can pick on the color that is the right color. Click and drag. In this case, I don't have to drag much. And let go. And hit done. And now it treats it almost like it's, it's a PNG, almost like it's an invisible image. And now when I make borders, it's going to be borders around the logo. So I'm going to change it to red. And look at that. It now makes a red around the entire Apple logo. Really, really neat stuff. Uh, you can get rid of backgrounds completely in this image. If you really uh, look for green screen images or if you try to look online PNGs. I hope these tips were helpful for pages in your experience. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us at the Think Different Podcast. And stay tuned for all of the different videos we have coming towards you in the future. Thank you.